good day viewers i'm coach happy myself and this is my channel this is just a very quick update about the um, the proceedings that is going on in the uh, tribunal abuja actually the neighbor party and peter be they are challenging the irregularities in 18 states and other prayers they are asking the courts but these 18 states that they are challenging yesterday see state evidence we presented before the court but there is something that transpired when they presented the evidence the evidence normally came from the pooling unit and you know that every result of the INEC that came from the pooling unit INEC have certified it but INEC kick against their own document they were saying that the court should not admit it but I'm beginning to sense something why is it that INEC is objecting their own document but court did not listen to them court has to admit the document because it came from INEC and it was certified by the INEC so why is it that INEC is now objecting their own document because they knew what really happened in this presidential election they knew what happened in the last election and I am looking forward to see how INEC is going to defend their own um, document that maybe they will come out to say is not correct but all those documents were issued at the pooling unit and state levels so i don't really know what is going to happen but i know that interesting days are ahead so let us keep on watching and see what is going to afford but for the moment listen to this video for more of this thank you the presidential candidate of Labour Party, Mr. Peter Robi, and his vice, Dati Baba Ahmed, are back for the definite hearing of the petition against the February the 25th presidential election results. The sight of senior lawyers exchanging pleasantries and chatting ahead of each sitting has become a norm. The five-man panel of justices, led by Justice Harun Asamani, arrive and gets into the business of the day. The petition by the Labour Party is the first on the list. Led by senior lawyer Emeka Opoku, they said they will be challenging the presidential election results in 18 states only. They however tendered certified true copies of electoral documents obtained from the Independent National Electoral Commission in only six states. The documents mainly forms EC8A from polling units were admitted as exhibits by the chairman of the panel, Justice Haruna Samani. However, INEC that issued the documents objected to their admissibility. Counsel to the APC and Tinubu also objected. A breakdown of the tendered and admitted documents showed that forms EC8A were tendered in 15 local government areas of River State. 23 in Benway, 18 in Cross River, 23 in Niger State, 20 in Oshun, and 16 in Ekiti State. Initially, yes, we had some hitches, but along the line, everything went on smoothly. We are all the state's documents we wanted to tender, not tender. The six states and the local governments that we came with were all tendered. And the court marked, I mean, uh, accepted, admitted all of them. The party also wonders why INEC will object to the admissibility of their own documents. It is shocking to us, too, that INEC would be attacking their own documents, processes that emanated from them. They are objecting it. Not only that those things came from them, they certified it. And when you certify a document, it means I have the original copy in my custody and I hereby give you this one, which I have certified, confirming that in my custody I have the original. Back in the courtroom, the petition of the People's Democratic Party is next. The party presented its first three witnesses, state collection officers of Ogun, Kogi and Abia, in the continuation of hearing of its petition. Retired Captain Joe Agada of Kogi State says they were forced to sign the presidential election results sheets. Solarin Adekule of Ogun State disclosed incidents of voter intimidation and manipulation of results, and Uzoma Abonta of Abia State said there were discrepancies in the results declared by INEC. The case has been adjourned to June 2nd for continuation of hearing. Emmanuel.